Thank you. Thank you, Andre. How exciting to meet everyone in person here in Paris. I'm Constantine, by the way, and I lead the web services team, the web services team here at Elrond. We had the chance today to see new innovations and extraordinary performance and developer experience improvements at every level. The protocol itself, the VM, and the smart contracts. What would all this improvement and scalability even mean, however, if it weren't available for end users to access through simple and intuitive user interfaces? The UI UX side of things. That's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna talk to today about. I'm now going to present the most recent updates from the team working on the foundational web apps that enable the ever-growing number of users, both experienced and novices alike, to participate in the Elrond economy. But before speaking about the specific apps, I will take a couple of minutes to bring into the spotlight the main building block for most of this, the DAP core. The DAP core is the starter kit for developers looking to build apps on Elrond. It has built-in authentication and transaction signing, as well as pre-configured APIs, so the developers can skip the boilerplate work and jump directly into building the unique business logic and the features of their apps. The new version of the front-end library, the 2.0, released just over three months ago, is a complete refactor that features a modular approach. Besides improving the, besides improving the developer experience, the new architecture has allowed for new purpose-specific submodules to be developed. Dubcore Swap, an embeddable uh, Mar Exchange swap solution, and Dubcore NFT, a starting point for NFT projects, along other things, are just a few of these examples. Bes using the, their respective backend services, these modules enable developers to kickstart the dApps they're working on. Other such specific modules will follow for sure, so keep posted. Another important improvement brought into the app core is the new Maya login. Based on the just released Wallet Connect 2.0, this brings hugely increases in stability and reliability of the Maya app and the app's connection, both when using a desktop browser as well as using a mobile device. DAP Core is therefore the fundamental front end building block used in almost every important app in the ecosystem, both internally here at Elrond and externally in the community. Coming back to the apps, the, webs the web wallet alongside the blockchain explorer are the first two foundational front ends ever developed at Elrond. A new web wallet rewritten from scratch using DAP Core is going to be released soon. The new web wallet aims to elegantly complement the Meyer app, and besides fulfilling the essential wallet functions, focuses on the smart contract and token interactions. NFTs are also a central feature of the new wallet, because isn't it? Everybody loves their NFTs. Once the release of the new wallet is complete, we will focus on the new security feature that was already mentioned, and you will probably hear mentioned a few times during these days, the 2FA. As many of you know already, there are in fact not one, but two browser web wallets uh, here at Elrond that we're developing. We call the second wallet the Myra DeFi wallet, and is a browser extension for both Chrome and Firefox. Once the new web wallet will be released, we will switch our focus to also updating and releasing a new version of the uh, extensions too. This new version will also be based on DAP Core. As I mentioned earlier, there are two foundational apps at Elrond that we built in the first day. First one was the web wallet, and the second one is the Explorer. The Elrond Explorer is the window to everything happening on the Elrond blockchain, available at everyone's fingertips. Day after day, my colleagues are working to the, together with the APIs team to help shed light on the complexities involved in making systems like, like Myertex, NFTs, staking interactions, and everything, uh, and how they work. Important recent developments on the exchange include account balance history and charts, interpretation of token transaction operation and smart contract actions, visibility into the staking of every account, account labeling, again, just to name a few. Soon, we will also have the hero tags available on the Elrond Explorer, but don't worry, we will take the privacy settings into account. 
I want to end uh, with the same note as uh, my colleague Andre with the with the growth. Uh, I will take a minute to 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 speak about the this very tiny but strategic project, uh, which is the growth dashboard. Uh, it's 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 come time to come and uh, visit this again. We will soon release a new version of this dashboard, which offers a bird's eye view into the most important KPIs and metrics of the blockchain. Um, this was it from me. I'm really excited to meet you all, and we're really, we are all really excited to see what you guys will build next. Thank you.